Hey, what's up guys? This is Brandon from The Jobbers. We're going to be doing another five count. Since WWE hasn't really given us any idea of why Triple H is back, we're going to do five things or five reasons why Triple H has returned and what this could mean for his future. I'm here with Mike. What do we have for number one, man? Number one, I have a feud between Stephanie and Triple H. Uh, the reason that you're doing this is because it's a, an original feud. We haven't really seen a lot of uh, feuds between husbands and wives on the show before, at least with the McMahons. I mean, I know that you have your stories with Linda and and, uh, and Vince before, uh, but like a lot of times that's because Vince was screwing around with other women. Right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and so like having um, a creative power, a cre um, power struggle dynamic might be a lot more interesting. And, and it brings a new fresh layer to Stephanie and Triple H. What do you got for number, or what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, it's really kind of a power struggle at this point if they were going to feud. Um, you know, Triple H has been doing his thing in NXT, uh, making everything kind of fresh and new, and Stephanie seems to be um, kind of that power-hungry uh, person who really wanted to control the entire company. So that would be kind of an easy story to tell, but a hard one as well, which re would, would require storytelling, which they're not good at. So, um, yeah, the second one going into this it kind of plays off of that one would be a survivor series uh match of some kind with like triple h forming a team against mick foley now the way that this would make sense is triple h is just really mad that uh stephanie picked mick foley as you know the person uh for the general manager um and, and you know maybe that's the reason why he came back and is attacking um you know, everybody, I don't know. Um, but what do you think of the angle of him maybe going after uh, Mick Foley in this scenario? Well, you know, on that promo he cut tonight, he was talking about how um, he knows that people are going against each other, but they need to stick together because the real feud is against SmackDown. Right. And having that uh, tension in Raw kind of would cause Mick to, I think, lose a bolt. Mm -hmm and make him go nuts. And that could be a good uh, team triple H versus team Mick at survivor series. Um, it, it would allow a really to kind of set the tone of who's going to fight who. And, and, and considering that there's not a lot of storylines going on right now, um, I think that's a, a good time to um, build storylines for guys who might not otherwise be active. Yeah. yeah, for sure. What do we have for the third one there? Um, third one is introduce a new faction to save Kevin Owens during a pay-per-view. Uh, this could be something like, uh, like what they did with the shield back in the mm -hmm. day. Um, except for, um, that this faction could, uh, potentially go up against the shield at a, maybe a WrestleMania or a SummerSlam or, um, like a Royal Rumble. Yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think, I mean, they're definitely you know, for the past couple weeks, um, I think it's been like four or five weeks we've seen Roman Reigns at the end of Raw. Uh, tonight, we saw Seth Rollins come out for the save. You know, whether he was just going out there to attack uh, Kevin Owens or coming out to save Reigns, I mean, it's basically the same thing at this point in time. So it definitely seems like they're teasing them, you know, teaming up, which we'll probably get next week or something like that. But um, I think that, you know, Kevin Owens doesn't necessarily need a faction, but I think it definitely could help. And it, it makes sense for Triple H to be like gathering troops for something, you know, and uh, there's got to be a reason why he put the title on Owens um, and basically won the belt for him. So uh, that kind of leads us into number four. Uh, Triple H is back to reboot Raw and plug the NXT DNA into it. So like we've talked about before, Triple H has been doing a ton of new stuff with the CWC and NXT, basically building those uh, from the ground up and making it something that people actually want to watch. He, he basically took a developmental program and is selling out gigantic stadiums the same weekend as major pay-per-views. And a lot of people are saying that those pay-per-views are better than what the main roster is doing. So he's been doing some wonders with that. And so him, you know, basically winning the title and handing it to, Kevin Owens is kind of the start of this storyline where Triple H wants NXT to kind of be dominant on the main roster. So uh, what do you think of, of that, and how do you think that continues? Yeah, I think that's uh, – it, it'll be interesting. I think you could have an old old uh, 
old regime versus a new regime, and this is maybe where you can in- reintroduce Vince. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you you can use the guys like Sheamus. You can use the guys like Lesnar. Um, now, nah, who am I forgetting about the old guys that are there? Like, you could use Jericho. Uh, yeah. Oh, Orton. Although Orton's on SmackDown, right. so. Well, I mean, yeah. they would, you know, if this is like, this would be kind of transcending what they're doing with SmackDown or Raw. You know, it would really be like an NXT uprising of some kind, and, and that could transcend the division of Raw and SmackDown. You know, like, he, he wants the NXT people to kind of rule um and maybe we see trades or something like that um for like you know the gathering of troops for something you know so it could be um it could be interesting to see what they do but i definitely like my first thought and this was like you know right when we started the podcast like months ago my my first thought was that they were going to do some kind of like nxt versus wwe kind of storyline so that kind of seems like where they're going with this and I, i don't really know what else that really makes sense you know yeah, I mean, other than maybe um, Seth Rollins did something to piss <laughs> Triple H off, right. um, like that would be the only that would be a very simple story to tell. But there's not much layer to it, and it, and it would only lead to one match. Yeah. Um, but and you know, and for something that's just dying for progress and storytelling, which you, like you keep mentioning, they're not good right. at. Um, that's not a good angle to go. Yep. So the last one we have is. Uh, the act at Raw was simply a one-time thing, and he stays away for a long time. Simply, you know, uh, he was pissed off at Roman for WrestleMania, and um, for whatever reason, he's got something against Seth Rollins, and, you know, now he wants KO to be his guy. Yep, yep, and that's, you know, I mean, out of everything that we've talked about, that's the most likely scenario because it's just, like, the easiest thing to, t- to say is, like, you know, well, Rollins, we gave you chance after chance. Um, you know, you've made zero progress, blah, 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 whatever, you know, you got hurt you left us kind of hanging for a while. You were supposed to be the guy, I mean, very HBK esque, you know, in, in storyline. So, um, you know, basically like he fought his way back from injury, came back and he doesn't want to immediately reward him and go back to the same stuff before, you know? So, um, it could be something like that. It could be, it could be anything, you know, we don't know. And, and they're leaving us like we talked about earlier like no breadcrumbs at all to give us any idea of why he's there um it's been like three weeks since he came back and we we haven't seen him we don't know you know like the only thing that they're doing right now is just saying like stephanie has no idea that you know he was going to be there or what his plans were and that's pretty much it so um you know it's pure speculation from this point but um i mean do you think that it's going to end up being just an easy explanation or do you think there's something bigger? Like what's your gut feeling? Uh, my gut feeling is, is since that attack was such a surprise, there has to be another layer to it. And I think like one, the TNA versus NXT storyline, uh, is, or not TNA, <laughs> the NXT versus WWE, uh, TNA might be interesting because at that point, uh, like Mick Foley might be deleted. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the NXT, uh, versus WWE storyline, I think is the most obvious, mm-hmm. And, uh, like, to me, like, my gut feeling is that there's going to be a faction of some sort. Uh, you know, for me, I think they got to introduce Samoa Joe somehow. And per- me personally, like, I don't know how much longer you can keep the revival down there. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, I think that for Triple H to come back and give the title to Kevin Owens, he would want him to keep it for a while. So he's got to surround him with, um, you know, some like yes men almost. So the revival kind of makes sense there. But I would like to see kind of like a dominant, um, you know, force kind of like evolution or something like that. Like he wouldn't come back and just want to, you know, pit up a bunch of guys that, um, you know, are kind of like, okay. Um, I would I would like to see like a Bobby Roode and a Samoa Joe, like the yeah. big time guys come up. Um yeah, I mean, Austin Aries seems to me like he could be another one simply because, like, uh, it seems like he's already being pushed down the totem pole. Mm-hmm. Or maybe he comes up and, like, you know, if they do a dominant faction, like Aries comes up and wins the Cruiserweight Championship or something, like, it would basically be that faction wins every title that's available, you know, um, and then basically just take over Raw. So, 
And that's that's something that I would like to see, just that dominant force that comes in and actually takes over, you know, like, and you can't do that just with the heavyweight title. You got to do it with all of them. So kind of a mixed bag of, of, of different people. But I would like to see like the big time stars, um, you know, come up and, and do that. So um, that's pretty much our list, guys. I mean, it, like like we've been talking about this entire time, all we're getting are small pieces to the story. Um there's there's no mention of him there's there's no sights of him so you know it, it seems like they're going to kind of drag this on for a while but it needs to pay off um so let us know what you guys think of triple h's return and what that means for him and thank you guys so much for checking this out we'll talk to you next time thanks guys